For this week's In Focus, our Logan Gay visited with Brainerd artist Steve McKnight as he talks with us about the joys of opening his very first solo exhibit at the Crossing Arts Alliance. He tells us about his technique and what we can expect from him in the future. Stephen McKnight decided to open his first solo exhibit called Time and the Decay of Memory after being inspired by his numerous trips to New York and his admiration of graffiti. His exhibit explores the idea of how much our minds distort memories. When we look back, we're not really seeing what was happening at the time. We're seeing our idea now of what was happening then. So a lot of this photography reflects more who I am in 2016 than what the subject was when I was taking the picture and we project ourselves onto these things and they can become pretty distorted and inaccurate. McKnight's technique includes using plywood and ink and it took over a year to complete. I blew up the pictures and cut them out sort of across a bunch of sheets of paper um, which were then pasted down onto these huge plywood sheets um, and left to sit so that the ink could transfer and sort of meld with the plywood. Um, and then I took a wet rag and I rubbed all of the paper from the original pictures off in layers and layers over many, many days until you just had ink and plywood left without any paper. This unique exhibit has the power to stir up emotions in the viewers. We hear words like, it's hauntingly beautiful, it's so layered, it's really interesting. The colors really have a nostalgic feel, and I think people are really responding to it in, in a different kind of way. Although McKnight loves all of his work, he is particularly proud of one piece. Sometimes the first one you make is always the best one. For some reason, you know, some musicians never top their first album. I, this one just has a really special place for me where just, the elements were just right and it happened the way I wanted it to and tried to replicate it with other pictures as many times I could and they're good but they're not, they're not as good. The Crossing Arts Alliance is pleased with the success of the exhibit. How strong this body of work is from someone who had never done a solo show. It really is an emerging artist in our community. It, when you look at it, it's, it's so cohesive. The colors are, are wonderful. They, they absolutely fit the theme. I'm just I'm beyond thrilled for him. McKnight plans to take a small break from canvas art and focus on his musical career. In Brainerd for this week's In Focus, Logan Gay, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.